Good day grade 10s. In this lesson we're learning about forces between the charges. Now let's look at this Java applet again. I know you're probably getting a bit sick of it but it actually is very useful. Okay so again we've got a nice neutral jersey, lots of positive and negatives and if you look over here you can see your wall is also neutral, has lots of positive and negatives. So we know that if we take our balloon and we rub it against it over here we can have a nice negative charge happening over here. So do you see that the jersey is now positively charged because it has a lot more positive protons or positive charges and it's got a lot less electrons which is more important. There are much fewer electrons on the jersey than there are on the balloon. So therefore we can say that the jersey is positively charged and we can say that the balloon is negatively charged. Now if I get let go of the balloon, look what happens. Whee! Okay so what is happening? The balloon is being attracted to the relatively positively charged Jersey. So do you agree we can say therefore that oppositely charged objects are attracted? You're really happy with that? Oppositely charged objects are attracted to each other. Now let's look at this and watch very carefully as I slowly move the balloon towards the wall. This is very interesting because now we've got a negatively charged balloon and the wall is neutral. But as I slowly move, watch what happens the balloon towards the wall. Do you see that? The electrons are being repelled. The negatively charged balloon is repelling the electrons and what is left behind is something that is apparently positively charged. Even though the whole wall is neutral, it is apparently negatively, I mean positively charged because the electrons are being repelled. So if I put this here, and I let it go, it will actually stick to the wall. So guys, you can try this. You can take a balloon and you can rub it against the jersey for quite a long time, make sure it is charged and then if you've got a nice smooth wall, preferably one that's painted, not one that's brick, okay, And you, because the brick might pop the balloon and you go and place it, you can actually have the balloon stick to the wall. Um, and it's quite fun. I did an experiment with one of my some one of my classes where we actually had a competition to see whose balloon stuck to the wall for the longest. It was amazing how long they stuck. Right. And while it's doing that, what you can't see here is that slowly but surely, the reason they eventually fall is that slowly but surely the electrons from this balloon will be transferring to this and then there'll be finally a little bit of a charge going left and right but you don't need to know about that that's important not important so what have we learned let's summarize first of all like charges repel okay we saw that because the electrons moved away secondly opposite charges attract and objects can attract uncharged insulators because the polarization of the molecules inside the insulators and that's exactly what I showed you there. There was this balloon and these are the little molecules and because the balloon is negatively charges, it core charged, it causes the electrons to be repelled and therefore the wall in verticums looks, oopsie let's go back, looks like it is positively charged and therefore they can attract each other. Right, and that is how the forces between electric charges works. Thanks, grade 10s. Have a wonderful day.